guys! I know it's been quite a while since my last video, but recently my order for the summer sale from the Folio Society came in and I decided to make the time to do this video because I'm really happy about all the new books that I acquired and I really want to show them to you guys, so I hope you will have fun watching this video. <laughs> Let's get started! The first book that I want to show you is one that I was very happy to find on sale because it's been on my wish list for a long while and that is um, Arthur Gordon Pym by Edgar Allan Poe. It's a very small formatted book as you can see but rather fat <laughs> which makes it kind of cute in contrast to the contents. <laughs> And the reason I wanted this book so much is that it is the only novel that Edgar Allan Poe wrote. It's a really nice production, it has very nice cover design in my opinion. The slipcase is really fun with uh, this sort of introductionary commentary like you would maybe find in a, in a newspaper comprising the details of a mutiny and atrocious butchery, etc, etc. And the illustrations themselves, I find them very, very nicely done. They are rather grotesque and dark, of course, <laughs> of course. Um, but they have give off a very nice vibe. They're just very well done artistically, in my opinion. I don't know what to expect from the story so far. I haven't spoiled myself too much on that. But I'm looking forward to reading it. <laughs> Next we have a rather unusual buy for me, which I must confess I was mostly uh, seduced to buy because it was on sale and looked beautiful, and that is Every Man for Himself. I don't know much about this book except that it's a novel set on the Titanic, but I thought it was just very beautiful looking, as you can see here with the design. And I found it interesting that the illustrations come from the author herself. They're sort of in an abstract style with a very cold color palette, I would say. Uh, very interesting, so I'm hoping that the book itself will prove to be that as well. I guess I am continuing the theme of nautical books this way that I started with Arthur Gordon Pym. <laughs> but yeah, it's a very, very nice production. And I think sometimes a bit of mystery is quite kind of nice when you buy something, <laughs> as long as it's not too expensive. And next, we have a special and very beautiful book, The Pillow Book of Sai Shonagon, which is a sort of diary of a lady-in-waiting at the Japanese court from over a thousand years ago. And it contains anecdotes, verses, anything that came to her mind really. And from the reviews I've read, she was a very poetic woman. Um, with lots of subtle insight, so this is basically like looking inside the brain of someone from a thousand years ago from a totally different society, which is what I found so fascinating about this and why I really wanted it. But also the production of the book is just absolutely gorgeous. It's bound not in the usual buckram or cloth that the Folio Society usually uses, but a black uh, kind of silk cloth and that contrasts just so beautifully with the golden insets on the cover. And it is complemented with sort of subtle and muted watercolor paintings. So it is just a very beautiful book and I'm really really looking forward to reading this. I think it will be very very interesting. <laughs> Next we have a book that I wanted to get on the sale but wasn't quite aware how much I would love it once I actually held it in my hands. And that is The Voyage of Argo, illustrated by Daniel Igneus. I knew of his work before but I was still not quite prepared to love it as much as I did. The end papers of this book are absolutely gorgeous with this map that is sort of black and watercolory with spray paint. It's just it has a really nice effect, it looks so ethereal and mythical. And of course I bought this book because of the contents. Uh, it is a legend, so to speak, The Voyage of Argo, which is something I'm always interested in. But yeah, the presentation really wins it over for me in this book. It is a very thick paper too, it's almost like carton. 
and all the illustrations are double-sided, uh, double-page uh, prints which of course is really nice and they just have this, this very ethereal artistic style the end effect is just really really nice <laughs> so I love this book I really recommend it and I'm sure I'll have a blast reading it and then last but not least we have a book that I almost bought in the last New Year's sale but hesitated because of the high price tag even with the sale percentage on it but this sale I just couldn't resist anymore and that is John Milton's Paradise Lost as you can see it is huge but has a very pretty uh, slipcase it's very heavy too <laughs> and this is just a very glorious uh, production it is quarter bound background and then bound in cloth and it comes with a complimentary commentary to volume, which is invaluable to me. I love commentary volumes <laughs> to help me get more out of what I'm reading. And of course, this is a really thick one, so lots of information there. And the epic itself is very well presented, in my opinion. The layout is very readable. Uh, it's just a joy to look at it. And of course, the most important part, <laughs> the illustrations, the mezzotins are masterfully done. They look really nice. They are so big because of the format of the book, so it's really a joy to look at them. And overall, it is just a very precious book, in my opinion. And I'm really glad that I got it. The commentary volume has lots of different information. It has a first... Uh, introductory notes about the themes, the, the style of, how, of the verse and everything, but for the most part it is then comprised of sort of footnote-like commentary, so you can basically read the, the poem on one hand and cross-reference the verses with the commentary and the commentary volume, so that is a great source of information. So yeah, those were my purchases and this summer sale. As I said before, it's not quite as large as my order for the New Year sale, but nonetheless it is of great value to me, everything that I've gotten. And I hope you enjoyed this video, maybe got some inspirations yourself, you never know. <laughs> but otherwise, I thank you for watching and hope you have a great time. Bye-bye!